Welcome back, everyone! This is VG Fanatic bringing you a Let's Play of the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we went through our tutorial battle and got Goombella on our team. Yay! Now we're gonna go see Professor Frankly. But first, we're gonna save our progress because that's how I roll. Alright, alright, alright. Now we're gonna go here. Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey! What's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! <gasps> Mario! You gotta wake up! That guy just stole half your coins! Hello! That is so lame! Ugh, I hate this town! Well, I'm not about to let that slide. La 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 la. For those of you who have never played this game... Yeah. Or for those of you who never figured out where to find this bloke, or even looked up where to find him, he's right here. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. And there you go. You now have your 100 coins again. Speaking of which, I want a few items. Yeah, I'm just going to skip this. They're just basically saying that every ten items I buy um, gets me a free item. I basically get... Like, it, it's weird. There's, there's like a list. Yeah, I got an item. Woohoo. Uh, this is the list. 10 points is a mushroom. 20 is ice storm. 30 is super shroom. 50 is thunder rage. 70 is shooting star. Then 100 is a gold bar. 150 is a life shroom. 200 is an ultra shroom. 250 is jam and jelly. And 300 is three gold bars, which sell for a shit ton of money. Yeah, I'd like another fire flower. I want two of these. And I'll call you in the morning. And two of these. All right. Now that's taken care of. I'm gonna save again because that's how much of a faggot I am. Boing. Saving. Saving. Complete. All right. Now we're gonna go talk to Professor Frankly. This is one of my favorite games on the GameCube. Hell, it is my favorite of all of the games I've ever played. Mostly due to the fact that it's just so awesome. And, um, just to be a dick, because I don't want it to be all talking this episode... Whoa, whoa, hold up now! You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without pain, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding! You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Alright, so, mini-boss number one. This is also an optional fight, I believe. This is Gus. Uh, let's line up this stuff. Boing! Stylish! That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I told you a million times that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. So basically your strategy is you just want to hammer the hell out of him. Add some flair to it with some stylish moves because you don't have an ow audience yet. Ooh, he went straight for me. Hmm. Can't really head bonk him. So I'm going to use the fire flower I bought. Damage him. <laughs> Probably should have bought more. Now, nah, whatever, I'll be fine. Huh? That hurt? You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So you'd better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best. This battle also introduces the fact that you don't have to stay and fight if you're going to lose. And that's in a fight you can actually flee thrum, from. Thrum. <laughs> I might as well give Mario a mushroom because I don't want to chance it. 
So yeah, that's another reason I went to the item shop was so I'd have some items to lay a hurting on this guy. Go straight for me, woohoo! Fucking asshole. Defend again. Yeah, I got the counter. This will end him. Oh yeah, and in case you don't know, uh, for those of you who've never played this before, um, to counter an attack is the same as guarding. You, when you hit A at the right time, you'll guard. From an attack. However, if you hit B at the right time against certain attacks, you'll counter attack. It's pretty useful, especially if you want a fight to go quickly. And end it like so. There you go, you get 22 star points right off the bat. Bam, early start pointage. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always think you pull can pull this stuff out, whatever. It's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? And there you go, you've opened up the next half, which we will explore later, because now it's time to talk to Frankly. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Who was you? Yeah, who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, um... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now! Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Gubriel. It's not Eliza Goom. Um, um, ah. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were my, in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir! That's me! I'm Goombella, junior at, uh, Yugoom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you! Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor! He's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way back to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? Excuse me. You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure really does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's just an empty chest. What is really inside of the Thousand Year Doors treasure, or whatever it's supposed to be, I, I don't fucking know. Well, anyway, we'll find out more later, since we're kind of running out of time, so until then, bye-bye.